let's make some candy together. This is my second time making it, and I am going to try a new recipe. I want to try to make the butter toffee. So I have butter, sugar, corn syrup. I have flavorings and the tart and sour and food coloring. And let me show you the molds that I'll be using. I have a um, thermometer. It's not a candy thermometer. It's a meat thermometer, but it works well. And we have the lollipop and the lip lollipop molds and just regular candy molds. Now what I'm going to do with my flavorings, I'm going to go ahead and mix my sugar, corn syrup, and butter and let it start to boil up. And then what I do is mix my flavorings and food colorings in these little cups here. And I pour them in at once, all together, once it reaches the 300 degree, which is crack candy stage. And then I just um, stir it, and it's done. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you all that on here, but let me try. This particular recipe, I'm going to use one whole stick of butter, two cups of sugar, and maybe a half a cup of corn syrup. And see how that turns out. The main thing is to get it into the crack candy phase. The first time I made myself call myself making alcohol lollipops, and I put too much alcohol, they turned out good, and they did the job. They actually got me tipsy, but they were soft like toffee. Okay, the butter is melting. I'm gonna go ahead and pour my corn syrup that I have measured out already, half a cup, and then the sugar. Um, I am using a stainless steel saucepan. I got it from Walmart for like $12. They say the best one to use is aluminum, and then the second best is copper, but this one worked just as fine. It, it worked perfect. I'm go ahead and put the sugar up, and I'll show you when it comes. The butter is boiling. Let me get the sugar in, and then I'll show you that boil. So you also must use a metal spoon. Go ahead and give that a stir real quick. I want to get that sugar dissolved so it can start boiling up. And then I'm going to check the temperature. I put the top on. I'm going to let it get the boil going. And um, then we'll put the thermometer in, the digital thermometer. And I'm going to go ahead and get my flavoring and food colorings ready. I want to make two different color candies. So I'm going to, after I get this to a certain temperature before I pour my flavoring in, I'm going to actually pour half of this into here so that I can, um, you know, get two flavors. While that's um, boiling up, we'll go ahead and put our sticks in. This time we have to use the smaller sticks. I'm glad I got some. Oh, maybe I need the smaller sticks for holidays. Yeah, let me get my small sticks. One moment. Got the sticks in. And on these, I think I'm going to put the candy in first and then the stick as it starts to harden. These does not require stick. Let's go check on the um, boiling mixture. So it's boiling up, and what you do is you don't stir it. You just let it boil. But let's go ahead and um, see what the temperature is. I have to get it to at least 300. See how fast it's gonna change. It's going fast. It's 144, 158, 170 already, 180, 89. Oh, it's getting on up there. Okay, I'm gonna let it get to 300 and then I'm gonna separate it. Let me get my flavors ready. I didn't do that yet, but I'm about to. Because this is moving fast. Okay, so I'm gonna make this is a strawberry and the sour tart, and we're going to put a little red in that, make some red candy, hope that's enough, and this we're going to put a little green, make some green candy, and I'm going to um, pour these in, I'll show you, at once, once this reach, let's check this again, saying 95, but let's check it, see how fast it moves up. I want it to burn. You got to get to about 300. That's going pretty fast. Let me turn the stove down a little bit. What's that song? 247. 254, 58. 
when I get it to 300 guys, because I'm using one hand, oh, it's getting up there, and I'll show you what I'm, how I pour these flavors in. Okay, guys, it definitely got the crack stage um, perfection. It started like like setting, like hardening up really quick. Let me show you. First time I made it in and get the heart cracks candy. I can tell it did now because it has all these little pieces that is hard and stringy. So I'm excited about this, the flavor. Show you the end results. Before I show you the results, I just want to show you. I'm going to have to figure out. But well, these look pretty good, these circles. But I'm going to have to figure out a way to get this stuff in here smooth so I can have my proper shape. I noticed that it works better in the silicone mold. I just taste it like pieces from the end, guys. And this is a very, very good flavor. So if you want to ramp up your flavor in your hard candies, add butter. Along with flavors and sweet and tart. Otherwise, it'll just taste like sugar. It'll be pretty with different colors, but it'll just taste like sugar and water. So these are the final results, and they came out really good as far as the texture. And the flavor came out amazing. These are the first ones that I made with the alcohol. They didn't come out so pretty, but they were perfectly flavored. I put them in the refrigerator, and they're a little bit harder, but they still end up being a toffee-like texture before you finish eating it. But it's delicious, and you can actually feel the alcohol in it. These definitely got to um, crack candy stage. The green is really good, but the um, red... I put a little bit too much flavor in it. That flavoring is really concentrated, so you have to be very, very careful and light-handed with the flavorings. But that tart, sour, that you can be heavy-handed with it. I really like the flavor of the green. But I'm getting better at it. Thank you all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And have a wonderful day, night, evening, morning whatever time you're in at the moment.